the 2023 Emmy nominations have just been revealed and the list was full of surprises and a few snubs. Secession snagged the most nominations with a whopping 27, followed by HBO's video game adaptation The Last of Us, which scored 24 noms. The White Lotus earned 23 nominations and Ted Lasso got 21 nominations. Not only did Secession score the most noms this year, but the show also made history with three lead actor nominations for Brian Cox, Kieran Culkin, and Jeremy Strong. Pedro Pascal and Jenna Ortega also made history with their nominations. Jenna scored a nom for lead actress in a comedy series for Wednesday, and Pedro snagged a nom for lead actor in a drama series for The Last of Us. The two are the first Latin actors to score a nom in their respective categories since 1999 and 2008. It also marks Jenna's first and Pedro's first ever Emmy nomination. Riley Keough's work in Daisy Jones and the Six also secured her first ever Emmy nom. But there were also a lot of snubs too. Helen Mirren was not recognized for her work in 1923 and Kevin Costner's role in Yellowstone was also ignored. Selena Gomez and Steve Martin were shut out of nominations for only murderers in the building, despite their co-star Martin Short receiving one. And Elizabeth Olsen was also snubbed for her work in Love and Death. But one of the biggest surprises was Jury Duty snagging multiple Emmy nominations, including one for Outstanding Comedy Series and Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series for James Marston. James and Ronald stopped by Access Daily recently and they shared an inside look at the hit show. So James, uh, break down what uh, Jury Duty is all about. I mean, it's the wildest experience I've ever done. I've been doing this for 30 years. It's basically a Truman Show kind of concept where you have myself playing myself or a version of myself and a lot of actors and one person who doesn't know that it's all fake. So it's a fake Jury Duty. And, and over the course of three and a half, four weeks, um, we show up to do jury duty every day and he thinks it's a documentary and basically the way it was proposed to me is that I didn't want to do a prank show we're not pranking him we created this hero's journey for this guy and surrounded him with a bunch of weirdos <laughs> and hopefully by the end of the show he becomes the leader and and unites us all and he did that because he's a great guy and and uh, so it was the creators of the office Lee Eisenberg and Gene Sapnitsky oh, and, yeah. That and alone. Uh, yeah some of the, one of the producers from Borat. so clever so original yeah. so it's a little curb your enthusiasm a little bit but with yeah. like a doc insight in real scenario right. Wow but wait right. Ronald did you know what you were getting into then or how was this proposed to right. you <laughs> so I was under the impression that this was just going to be a behind-the-scenes look a never before you know filming of what it was like behind the scenes for jury duty so I signed up for what I thought was a documentary I didn't really know what was going on till the end did you answer an ad in the paper is that true or how did you get this I came across an ad on Craigslist actually what? <laughs> is that what it was on it was on, it was on Craigslist and it said yeah. what uh, it was I don't remember exactly what it said but it was pretty vague it basically just said we're doing a never done before um, behind the scenes look at what it's like during the jury duty process all we're gonna do is we're just gonna film you guys during deliberation and just show what it's like Craigslist. And Jay, I gotta imagine when they pitched it to you, James, were you like, I, there had to be a lot of questions. What made you ultimately want to do this? Well, I love the I love the creators, those guys who did The Office, and I've always wanted to explore like improvisational comedy. I just know, and I thought this was a really original idea and a, a high wire act, like really ambitious to, yeah. to, to pull it off. I was and like, that looks like a real judge. That judge, yeah. like, yeah. oh, By the way, so that's yeah. Ike Baron Holtz's father, who is a prosecutor his whole life, who actually also is an actor. So oh. we lucked out with that. Oh, perfect. Two other That's attorneys wild. were real attorneys who also gave up their careers to become actors. So we got really Look, lucky to, oh, wow. to, to kind of populate the, yeah. the, uh, the courtroom with really, really intense. Uh, authenticity. Just, yeah, yeah, and, <laughs> and gifted improvisational. So I wanted to, like Christopher Guest is a hero of oh, mine. Oh, I always wanted best. to do Man. that kind of comedy, and I thought, you know, in this day and age where you don't really get that many original ideas yeah. anymore, yeah. you know, this felt like a real kind of a challenge and a high wire act and like, you know, it, celebrating this guy's good character. And, <laughs> you know, at, at first I was like, boy, you know, wait, we're, we're like fooling this guy for three and a half weeks of his <laughs> life. I'm, I started questioning the morality of this, but like he was such a good yeah. human being. And, and again, we're just... I'm like acting like a self-involved, crazy version of myself, <laughs> you know. It's but uh, but it was wild, man. I've never, never experienced anything like it in my life. And it's like one take. One take. Yeah. I mean, we every day is a day on jury duty, and 
You know, we have so the scripts. How fun there as was, an actor to so it's like do an that? Yeah. In the sen- right, right, exactly. So it was, there were scripts, but there was no dialogue scripted. It was like, okay, this is the moment where James goes and sits next to Ronald, and you know, talks about all his movies. You know, <laughs> like, yeah. you know, just <laughs> what did you lead about. with? I love the enchanted. What we saw on the <laughs> clip. Well, so, we didn't so even f- know if he was going to know who I was. Right, right. What's so funny, yeah, because you come across it in- incredibly like. It, it, normal, right, and, and natural, but y- you have to be on point. Like you said, everything's on one right. take. There's no coverage. There's no like no. <laughs> switching around. So, oh, that's fun. That's yeah. my that's kind of fun. movie. Right, yeah, right, right. Well, and depending on how he reacts to these circumstances and these characters, we would have to pivot if it if it didn't follow the script. Oh, that's you know? funny. Wait, so and then when did you or Ronald? When did you know? That you were the prop, or that you were—you know what I mean? Yeah. When did you know that this was something different? Not till the very end. Not until the very last day. Oh my God, this is so what great. What was the what was the wildest thing uh, that, that someone did? Oh, I—I I mean, honestly, I can't narrow it down to just one thing. There were there was way too much crazy stuff, but I would say that Todd's character probably took the cake on every single crazy thing. The chair pants. The guy. chair pants. The chair Do pants. we have a picture of the chair pants? And we need this Mario for our set. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. It's like this it's that's character awesome. that he yeah, plays. It's he... like he's got these weird inventions where he's fusing a fake ear onto his ear. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Bizarre things like that. And he was meant to be part of the story to not antagonize you, but like try to freak you out. And this guy's such a good guy. So nice. He took him under his wing oh. and like, just I don't know. It was just the, it, you, you were passed, just perfect, Ronald. Perfect yeah, I know, right? did you know who it James gone was? Wrong if no, he was a totally. Jerk. And yeah. if right. he was like a bad guy, that could have gone really sideways. Different sideways. movie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did you know who James was? When, what was the moment where you kind of were like, oh my God, that's James Morris? I mean, truthfully, I did have to do a Google search on the guy because I mean, <laughs> you, you sit you sit down on jury duty. And I you're know not you cried to at see the notebook. The best, <laughs> I know. the best mo- well, I don't want to ruin it for people, but one of the best moments is when we were in the waiting room getting ready to go into jury duty, and I was planted next to him. On, by design, like we took up all the other chairs first, so I sit nearby him, and some lady comes up and asks for a photo. She hands him the photo, the, the camera to take the picture, and he's like uh, acquiesces and takes the photo. I'm like, I'm sorry, dude. And he's like, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew you from <laughs> something. And then someone mentioned Sonic. He goes, Sonic, you were in that? And I said, Yeah. Did you see it? He goes, No, I heard it was a terrible movie. <laughs> <laughs> he's so nice. And then he comes in. He's such a nice guy. Yeah. He comes in the next day. He comes in the next day. Going, Oh man, I went to see it. I was saying you were great. He goes, You didn't tell me Ben Schwartz was in it. <laughs> I was like, Yeah, of course. And then That's I, so funny. Anyway. That's this so is great. great. I got a, yeah, just like a great acting exercise. So much. So you've been doing a lot of comedy because I know you did, um, or recently I should say, uh, you worked with Jerry Seinfeld on the Pop Tart yeah, movie, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that un- must have. Un- and is that it's... sort of satire too, or is it actually the the genesis of how the Pop Tarts came to be? Yeah, I, that's one that's tricky to talk about because it's just I, it's very early in the game. But yes, I jumped at the chance to work with Seinfeld because he's such a legend. Um, but yes, it, it's. Um, it's going back in time and sort of following <laughs> how the pop tart was invented, and there was a need for a, a shelvable pastry. <laughs> and there was a, it's the greatest a space thing of all time. Yeah, 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 yeah. This company and this company <laughs> to make it, and it's, you know, it's as it, it'll be bizarre and hilarious. So, yeah. in the spirit of uh, crazy courtroom annex, we're going to play a little game with these gentlemen. We're going to read some headlines, and they're going to tell us if they think the headline is real or fake. Okay, Ooh, you but, got okay. this, Ronald. So, all right. Woman sues weather station for predicting wrong weather. I would believe that. I would believe it too. I would believe it's that. real. Yeah. Oh, that's real. How about Very this? Good. Man sues Uber driver for not playing music for his 30-minute ride. Oh, uh, I believe that too. I would believe it, but I'm gonna say fake. Hey. Ronald Ooh, with the win. Right. That was a fake one. Don't play poker with Ronald. Right. Um, man sues wife for always having SpongeBob SquarePants on in the house. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's not true. Yeah, I'm going. James. But wouldn't yeah, it be we great come if it was? We couldn't come up with a better one. We yeah. couldn't come up with a better one. <laughs> okay, woman sues man for ten thousand dollars for standing her up on a date. All these you litigations. Have to, you have to he lied right. because quote he lied. Oh, because quote he lied. I thought that was the punchline. Uh, what do you think? About I that? think it's true. I'd say. Remember that headline? She sued somebody because he stood her up on a date. I don't know if she true. won or it not, but true. that is wow. a true. We love our litigation. Here hey. we go. Right there. Just getting you all fired up for Jury Duty, yes. which releases on Amazon Freebie April 7th. So check it out. Great to see you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You did awesome. That's great. More Congrats. acting in your future. Yeah. This time you'll That's know funny. about it.